Hello and welcome to the very first lecture of this complete ASP.NET Co MVC course. This is a step by step course which will teach you everything related to ASP.NET Co with MVC architecture. Now let's start this course by understanding what .NET Co and ASP.NET Co is and how they are different from .NET framework. So what is .NET Co? .NET Co is a new version of .NET framework which is free, open source, general purpose development platform maintained by Microsoft. Now, how .NET Co is different from .NET Framework? So first of all, .NET Co is a cross-platform framework and can run on Windows, Mac OS and Linux operating systems. On the other hand, applications created using .NET Framework can only run on Windows operating system. Another difference is that when you install .NET Framework in your machine, it installs all the packages with .NET Framework provides. Even though you're not going to use all of them, it is going to install all the packages which the .NET Framework provides. But with .NET Co, you can install only those packages from NuGet package which you actually need for your application development. In this way, .NET Co application speeds up the performance, reduces the memory footprint and becomes easy to maintain. Let's see some of the features of .NET Co. So first of all, .NET Co is an open source framework which is maintained by Microsoft and is available on GitHub. You can view, download or contribute to the source code on its GitHub repository. .NET Core runs on Windows, Mac OS and Linux operating system. There is different runtime for each operating system that executes the code and generates the same output. So this makes .NET Core cross-platform. Now with .NET Core, we can create a wide range of applications. So various types of applications can be developed and run on .NET Core platform such as mobile application, desktop application, web applications, cloud, IOTs, machine learnings, microservices, games, etc. .NET Core supports multiple languages. So you can use C Sharp, F Sharp, Visual Basic Programming Languages to develop .NET Core applications. And you can use your favorite IDE including Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Vim, etc. .NET Framework supports modular architecture approach using NuGet packages. So there are different NuGet packages for various features that can be added to the .NET Core project as needed. Even the .NET Core library is provided as a NuGet package. In this way, it reduces the memory footprint, speeds up the performance and is easy to maintain. .NET Core also includes command line interface for development and continuous integration. So these are some of the features of .NET Core framework. Now, Let's quickly see the main components of the .NET Core framework. So these are the four important components of .NET Core framework. The CLI tool is a command line interface tool and it provides a set of tooling for development and deployment. Roslyn is a language compiler for C Sharp and Visual Basic. CoreFX is a set of framework libraries. And Core CLR is a JIT bit CLR. Here CLR stands for Common Language Runtime and JIT stands for Just-in-Time Compiler. So this core CLR is a just-in-time compiler based on Common Language Runtime. Now here I am not going to go deep into these components of .NET Core Framework because this course is all about ASP.NET Core and not about .NET Core Framework. Okay. But there are a lot of articles which you can find on internet and you can go through them to understand what these components actually do in .NET Core Framework. Alright, so this was a brief introduction of .NET Core Framework. Now, let's talk about ASP.NET Core. So, what is ASP.NET Core? ASP.NET Core is the new version of ASP.NET Web Framework mainly targeted to run on .NET Core platform. ASP.NET Core is a free, open source and cross-platform framework for building cloud-based applications such as web apps, IoT apps and mobile backends. It is designed to run on the cloud as well as on-premises. Let's see some of the features of ASP.NET Core. Since ASP.NET Core is built on .NET Core framework, it has all the features of .NET Core which we discussed before. Now let's explore some important features of ASP.NET Core. So first of all, ASP.NET Core applications are cross platforms. That means ASP.NET Core apps can be hosted on any operating system like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, etc. Basically, when we create a web application using any web technology, we need to host it on a server. 
so that it starts receiving the request and can send the responses. So the question is, which operating system do we need on the server for hosting ASP.NET Core applications? Well, ASP.NET supports three main operating systems, Windows, Linux, and macOS. Generally, while developing the application with ASP.NET Core, we use Windows or macOS on developer's machine. On the other hand, when we host the ASP.NET Core application on the server, there we use Linux operating system. Now on the server machine, we need a software that is capable of receiving the request and sending responses. ASP.NET Core supports Kestrel by default as the application server. But ASP.NET Core application can also run on IIS, Nginx or Docker as well. ASP.NET Core is open source. That means the source code of ASP.NET Core is available on GitHub for free. Since it is open source, you will get updates of ASP.NET Core quite frequently. Also, if you want, you can be a contributor to ASP.NET Core library. There is more than 1000 contributors and a huge community of ASP.NET Core developers. Finally, ASP.NET Core was developed keeping the cloud in mind. It supports Microsoft Azure Cloud out of the box. Another very important feature of ASP.NET Core is its dependency injection. Here I have not listed it, but dependency injection is another important feature of ASP.NET Core and we are going to talk about dependency injection in great detail in this course. So in short, we use ASP.NET Core to create web applications or web APIs and these web applications or web APIs can be hosted on any operating system because ASP.NET Core is cross-platform. So in this course, we are going to create an ASP.NET Core web application using MVC architecture and we are going to do it step by step. And along the way, we will learn different concepts related to ASP.NET Core as well as MVC architecture. So this was a very brief overview of what ASP.NET Core is. Now, in order to take this course, there are few prerequisites which you need to have. So first of all, you should have a basic understanding of c -sharp programming language. For example, you should have understanding of OOPS concept, async await, extension methods, lambda expressions, etc. And basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery is also required because we are going to use these technologies in this course. Another very important thing which I'm going to cover in this course is the interview questions related to ASP.NET Core. So after each topic in this course, I will also give you some interview questions related to that topic that has been asked in interviews. Alright, so this is all from this lecture. I will see you in the next lecture.